so you have been working with large web projects with multiple javascript files and using some bundlers like webpack or rollup to deploy them but do we need them let's take a look at this simple scenario this is a bare minimum to do app let's run this so i'm going to open it with a regular web server not through a bundler and we get this so let's try this out i'll say buy milk add and it adds this to do now this is a single javascript file which is being delivered to the browser and the browser understands it but what happens if we make it multiple javascript files so let me remove this to do class from here create a new to do.js and move it here now let's go back and include this file using to do is equal to require to do.js now let's try and running it again so let's go back open it with server and look at the dev tools it says require is not defined now why is this happening let's understand modules in javascript and in browser so here we go javascript as a language when it was created did not have the notion of multiple files so it had no notion of importing or including files later a standard emerged which is called amd or asynchronous module definition where the user could include multiple files by using a library and then specifying which was the top js in that code and we had to go and define our functions in this weird way using the define keyword unfortunately this works only in the browser when node came up it came up with the concept of common js which is required so if you are writing any node based applications you generally say include this with require and this works only in node so here you say module dot exports and you give a list of things that you want to export because common js works only in node and amd works only in browser another standard came up which is umd which is well a little more complicated because you basically have to figure out whether it's running in browser or running on node and accordingly deliver but at least it worked in both now obviously developers don't want to get into these complexities by themselves so what they did they started using bundlers which would do these things for them so first of all let's go and say module dot exports and give what we are exporting it still doesn't work though because browser does not understand require so what do we do we use webpack now what is webpack well it's a tool whose primary task is to take all the .js files bundle them and deliver just one so that browser does not have to worry about require or amd or umd so let's go back to our project open up the terminal let's install so i am going to first say in it i'll get my package dot json now let's install webpack 
So here we go. We have the Webpack engine, the CLI, and the Webpack web server. Now, instead of trying to export directly, as we can see that Webpack delivers a single file, main.js, we can go back here and replace it with main.js. So now we have two files, the main file index.js, it's importing or requiring to do class, but we are going to use webpack. So let's run this webpack server. So I am saying run webpack server mode development open it and here we go now this time when we open up the dev tools there are no errors regarding our file and this works so you can say buy milk and voila there we go but is it really necessary let's go back and see a new standard has emerged which is ES6 module where instead of saying module.exports you say export default or export and it works in node if we make an entry type module it also works in browser if while loading the top module you say type module but remember this can't be common js amd umd or any other this must be esm which is es6 module so going back here let's remove uh see here we go we'll remove webpack altogether but instead we are going to use es6 so there are two things that we have to do one is instead of this we will say export default to do and instead of this we are going to say import to do from to do js now let's try running it back without our uh, webpack with a regular server and let's go back and change this to src index.js so now we are no longer using webpack we are trying to run it directly and we still get errors it says cannot use import outside a module and that's what we saw here we must say type module if we want to use esm directly in the browser so we are going to do this here and i'm going to say type is equal to module now let's go back run it by milk add and voila it works we don't need webpack to deliver multi js files all we need is to write our files using es modules and then the only thing that we really need to do is specify that we are going to use ES module in the HTML and switch to ESM syntax in our JavaScript files. So for simple projects, there is no need to run Webpack. But yes, Webpack has its advantages apart from bundling and is being utilized by the default Create React app and Angular 
but for simple projects go ahead remove webpack use es modules 